Dear students, I am taking you to new chapter non-profit organization or non-trading concern. Let us move on to theory part. First meaning of non-profit organization. Non-profit organization refers to those organization which are formed to render social services and not for making profit such as promotion of education, sports, games, science and technology, culture etc. Examples of non-profit organization, hospitals, schools, clubs, library. Dear student, very important here meaning of non-trading organization in simple language. Any organization, any voluntary organization started with the intention of service, not for profit motive. Already I mentioned educational institution, public hospital, public library, etc. Next features of non-profit organization. Number first feature, they are formed for rendering services. Next is they are organized as trust, societies or any other. That means student features of non-trading, mainly they are started to render service, not for profit. And next is their intention is to run a society or organize it as a trust or societies. Next comes need or maintenance of what are the books of accounts maintained under non-trading concern. Number one, why we maintain need for maintaining books of accounts by non-trading? What is the necessity of maintaining books of accounts under non-trading concern? Number one, to know the financial position of the non-trading organization. Number second, to avoid misappropriation of funds. The books of accounts maintained by non-trading organization. Number one, cash book. Number second, journal. Number third, ledger. Number fourth, register of members. So, what are the books of accounts usually we maintain? Cash book to know the cash operation, cash in and cash out. Journal, ledger and register of member. Next, meaning of receipts and payment account. Answer, receipts and payment account is a summary of cash receipts and cash payments of non-trading organization for a given period of time, usually year, it is prepared to find out the closing balance of cash. Dear student, in receipts and payment account, mainly we record cash receipts and cash payment and the main motto to know the cash balance at the end. Next comes features of receipts and payment account. What are the features of receipts and payment account? It is a real account. Why, how I say it is a real account? Only we deal with cash transaction. Next, it is prepared from the cash book. That means it is prepared with the help of cash book. Next one, meaning of income and expenditure account. What is income and expenditure account? It is a revenue account of non-profit organization. It is a summary of incomes and expenses of non-profit organization prepared at the end of the year to find out the surplus or deficit of income over expenditure. Dear student, income and expenditure account is a summary of revenue expenses and revenue income prepared under non-trading concern to find out surplus or deficit. Features of income and expenditure account. It is a nominal account. We deal with only expenses and income. Secondly, it is prepared from receipts and payment account and other relevant information. Next, meaning of capital expenditure. What is the meaning of capital expenditure? It is an expenditure whose benefit is not exhaust in just one year, but the benefit is available for more than one year. It is, a incur, it is incurred for purchase of fixed assets. Dear student, meaning of capital expenditure means it is non-recurring in nature. It, there is no continuity and benefit of this expenditure not exhaust in the same accounting year but available for subsequent year example land purchased and x-ray plant purchase ambulance van purchase books purchase furniture purchase so many meaning of revenue expenditure opposite of capital expenditure it refers to expenditure whose benefit is exhausted within one year it is incurred for day-to-day -day running of the business example salary paid, rent paid, etc. That means revenue expenditures are known in nature. We are aware of and regular, routine in nature. Example, rent paid, salary paid, etc. Meaning of capital received. 
they are all received they are receipts of non uh, recurring in nature they are not received regularly they are usually huge amount example life membership fees legacies donation of capital nature etc meaning of revenue income or revenue receipt revenue receipt is a receipt which is recurring in nature they are received regularly example rent received subscription received interest received commission received etc dear student revenue income means known in nature recurring in nature regular in nature often in nature and benefit exhaust in the same year meaning of deferred revenue expenditure heavy expenditure of revenue nature incurred for getting benefit which extends to two or more years is called deferred revenue expenditure example huge amount spent on advertisement huge amount spent on repairs etc mention any two differences between capital receipt and revenue receipt first capital receipt capital receipts are non recurring in nature and revenue receipts are recurring in nature in other words simple language capitals are not often and revenues often second difference capital re receipts are usually huge amount capital receipts are usually huge amount but revenue receipts are not huge amount and entered in income and expenditure account put it in other way capital receipts always recorded in balance sheet and revenue receipts are recorded in income and expenditure account mention any two differences between capital expenditure revenue expenditure capital expenditures are non recurring in nature revenue expenditures are recurring in nature second difference capital receipts are entered in the balance sheet but revenue receipts are entered in income and expenditure account give two examples for revenue expenditure salary paid rent paid printing charges etc next give two examples for capital expenditure purchase of building land purchase machinery purchase etc give two examples for a deferred revenue expenditure av amount spent on advertisement preliminary expenses and av amount spent on repairs etc give two examples for capital receipt life membership fees special donation legacies received etc give two examples for revenue receipt sale of goods rent received commission received interest received etc